Okay, I'm going to go over the basic controls of the Ornament and Crime in the uh, original and the Hemispheres firmware. First, starting with the original, here we're in the Quadraturia mode. So a lot of the times uh, the, the buttons and the encoders have a very similar function, uh, especially the right encoder. Um, that is always going to bring you through your, um, your menu of all the different parameters. And a click of that will allow you to uh, to uh, change that. So here we're just, you know, arbitrarily changing some stuff. Um, so that's pretty easy. And remember the left, uh, the up button, hold it down, will give you uh, your, your screen saver, which in quadraturia mode is very useful so you can see what the waveforms are doing. Um, the left encoder usually changes stuff at the top. You know, you'll you'll see in a moment that it'll choose between the different outputs. Or here, um, it's changing the the hertz or the the speed of the uh, the LFOs here. And then here, the uh, the up and down buttons will actually change that, but in inc uh, larger increments. So you can go really quickly to the slowest and really quickly back to the top fastest, and then you can dial those in. Um, so yeah, let's just go to another one. So you can see here in acid curds, the left is going to change your um, your mode. Uh, then you click it and you're locked into it. Um, and then of course the right encoder, same as before, um, will change your like will allow you to select your parameter there to change. Um, so here. The uh, up button is changing plus one, uh, or I think it's just a sharp or not sharp, actually. Um, and then what's really cool about this particular um, app is you can map the CV and, and trigger. So you press, press the down button, and that'll actually bring you into a submenu here where you can assi assign the CV inputs to, uh, for instance, change your octave. So I can make CV1 uh, do that, but I could also change the quality of my chord with CV1. So you can you can pull double duty. Um, a lot of the apps though uh, have the CV controls are you you can't really change them. They just do what they do. Uh, so yeah, basically it's just a lot of navigation. But once you kind of get one of the apps under your fingers, you'll uh, you, it's pretty easy to figure out what the the next uh, what what another app will do. Um, so here it's a little different in the hemispheres. The up and the down buttons will choose or will basically bring you into uh, the app select. So you do this and then it, it gets highlighted with a square and now the encoder will bring you through all the different, um, well the left one will bring you through all the different left uh, apps. So let's go, this is a good one for showing people is the skewed LFO, where is it? Okay. So you can press that and it'll bring you uh, so you know you're not selecting, you're actually moving stuff around, or you can just push that twice. Um, so here is where the encoder gets double duty. You can see here it's uh, first it's doing the speed of the LFO, and then a right click will bring you to your shape. And that's pretty common throughout all the different um, the apps here is they have double duty. Press that again, you can slow that down. So it's the same thing on this side. Select your app. Let's actually just go right back to skewed LFO there. Same exact for this side. Click it once, switches between the two. So let's just look at a different, um, what's another one? Like here is a trigger sequence. So now you can go through and and basically you can see how there's a that line is by those four you can configure it'll bring you through all those configurable options to get um so you can't like go through and click them all on you have to like choose what pattern you want and then give that a click and it brings you to your next one and so forth